So let me get this straight. Men will make fun of women who like and follow astrology while they manage a fake football team? I have several bags from Dollar Tree to share with you guys. Also, that sounded like I just broke something. Um, also, at the end of this video, there is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY, so stick around for that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in. I found these file folders, and the first thing that I noticed is that they were the same colors that Dollar Tree released for summer, their summer collection. So we've got that pink, blue, orange, and green. I don't think I hauled these. Anytime Dollar Tree puts out these file folders, I'm always paying attention. I think these are such a great pickup, you guys, for any organization that you need to do. They're also great to use for like your crafting room, like even in your office for, you know, organizing files or just things like that. I actually use mine to organize a lot of my receipts and things like that. Um, and also in my craft room, you can organize like stickers and all kinds of little things in here, especially if you have like little, you know, pieces of scrapbook paper that you don't know what to do with it, but you want to keep it for other projects. These would be great for that. Yeah, these are just like one of my favorite like office accessories there. And by the way, this says easy peel and it's true. This is the best sticker that they have at Dollar Tree that literally comes off. I wish all of the stickers at Dollar Tree had this easy peel. So I found those. Then I picked up the Crafter Square tape. This is double-sided, acid-free, and this is by far my favorite tape that's ever come through Dollar Tree. I use this for so many different projects and I especially grab for this when I do care packages for my daughter. I'm actually in the process of getting hers together so you'll be seeing that video soon. But I use this to decorate like the inside of the box because it has that double-sided feature and it sticks so well. That's what's so impressive to me because with a shipping box, you're dealing with like cardboard and sometimes it's just hard to find like the right tape that will stick to that, you know? And this does a great job. So highly recommend. Like I said, it's my favorite tape. Um, not too long ago, maybe like the last haul or the haul before that, I found some more um, fall cups from Dollar Tree and then I found the tumblers that go with the collection. And I was like, what? Like, how cute is that? So, and they match that, the cup set that I showed you guys in the last haul. So definitely go check it out. But what I love about this set is this guy right here. So I'm gonna pull the other cup and I'm gonna do an overshot so that you can see what I'm talking about. But I love how with this tumbler, there's nothing on it. They didn't write anything on it. I just do prefer the print on its own. It's just much more chic in my humble opinion. And it's just so pretty. Like I would, these are just gonna be perfect for gift giving or for yourself. You know, you just love that coffee tea moment, take it to go with you. And it's super cute and very festive for fall if you're like trying to get into those to that mood and to that vibe. All right, so I have a little story to tell you guys. Um, I've been looking for these spiders. I didn't think that Dollar Tree was gonna put them out and then I ended up finding them the end. That's the story. And I was so excited. The moment that Dollar Tree started putting out their Halloween stuff, this was actually the item that I looked for immediately and I couldn't find it. And I was just like, no, does that mean Dollar Tree's not gonna put them out anymore? They've just been that staple item that they keep bringing back year after year as they should because these spiders are elite. Okay, just let me, like, let me just put it to you that way, in my opinion. They are fantastic. With this size, as you can see, you get two for a dollar. The colors are gorgeous. The black spiders are my favorite. And then they also 
give you this size and you get one for a dollar. So I don't know if you guys have like seen like the decorations where people do the bats like kind of climbing the walls. If you don't want to do bats, do the spiders. As a matter of fact, you're going to see that in uh, Saturday's video. So I'm going to be decorating a space, my media room, I'm just going to tell you that straight up. It's going to be amazing. We're going to change the posters out. Uh, yeah, so the spiders crawling on the walls. It's going to be so cute. So if you're not subscribed or you don't have the bell on, you know what to do. So that video again is going to come out Saturday, but I wanted to also show you guys that they come out in multiple colors. And I believe I've done several Halloween DIYs with these spiders before. Then I picked up these skull tumblers. I think that's what they're calling them. I'm not really sure. By the way, they are hand wash only, just letting you guys know. And these were the two options that I picked up. Now, what actually caught my attention about these was actually the straw. I know that seems kind of silly, but this black and white straw right here is, I love it. I've actually been looking for a black and white straw set from Dollar Tree because I wanted to use them in a uh, Halloween tear tray that I'm going to be putting together, but I've only been able to find them in these. But you know what? I could always pull the straw out, use the straws, and then just use these as decor if I wanted to. So that would be really cute. I'm kind of wondering that if I remove this and maybe I'll add it to this video overlay and see how well this works. If adding like a little tea light on top would be kind of cute. I don't know. We'll see. Comment down below. Let me know how else you would use these skulls instead of actually using them as putting liquid in and drinking out of them. But if you're going to have a Halloween party, these would be cute as tabletop decorations or to put you know, drink stuff in here. So there's that. All right, this next item I've already picked up, but I decided since I saw it again, I was like, you know what? Let's get another one because I just don't know that we're gonna see this again next year. And this little ghost is the most impressive thing. I know I'm, you guys always see the facial expressions. I'm always shook and I really am because it's a dollar. But this right here, I can't believe they did this to us. I truly can't. They also came out with a cat. I think there was a third option. I think it was like a Day of the Dead go or pumpkin, I think is what it was. But this ghost, in my opinion, is just above all the others. It's my favorite, and he's so cute. Can you see how that little boo is an additional metal layer? Oh, I have no words. Then I picked up this little plain orange jar. It also came in yellow and blue, which I found interesting. This was part of their fall setup, which makes sense because Dollar Tree has been using blue. Like, hello. They've been using like this color for fall. So that's not surprising, but I just really liked this jar and I thought I could maybe use it in my Halloween tear tray setup which I will be sharing with you guys. Not today, but it's coming. And I also picked up this again, which I've already hauled not too long ago, but I was like, you know what? Two of these in a tear tray would look really cute. And I think I might've only hauled one or maybe I hauled two. I don't know. Now I have three, whatever it is. So super, super darling. This pumpkin, in my opinion, could not be more perfect for a dollar, like, are you freaking kidding me? Then I picked up some of this Buffalo check ribbon. Wanna point out that the label is purple. So this means this is Halloween. So if you just love Buffalo check in general and you craft with it throughout the year, you might wanna grab this while you can because once they pull Halloween off the shelves, this, this particular one won't be available and it's, it's pretty nice in my opinion. Like it's just, it looks really good. So, um, so there's that. And then let's see. I also picked up this cute little sticker set because I cannot help myself. Has all the little cats, but this cat right here in the broom, that's me. I'm zipping out of here. 
I don't know where I'm going to Mars. I don't know, but I gotta get out. So that's me for sure. And I love all the little candy corn pieces throughout as well. And they're all dressed like in their little Halloween costumes, which is, which is cute. Like there's even like a little Frankenstein kitty, skeleton kitty, little pumpkin kitty, a ghost kitty. No, they didn't. Um, I have some more Halloween stuff, but in this bag, I picked up some gum. You know, I just haven't been on gum lately. And I like these little packages. I think they're cute. I like how there's like a seal that you can re, you know, that you can close up. And I thought this would be great to throw in like my bum bag. Um, I've been doing like the crossbody type style purses. And so I know that this will fit really nicely in there just to kind of have some like gum on hand. So I went with a classic winter frost with the eclipse. And then with this trident, I went with the strawberry and lime, which I've had this one before from Dollar Tree, and I love it. These are, as I said, what? Uh, it is the Bic Whiteout Correction Tape. And they're giving us different color tape dispensers. So this like teal one, a purpley, and a blue. Yeah, but it is the correction tape, and I was just like, okay. This, this is good. This is great for a dollar. So I'm definitely gonna add it to like my craft room stash. I got that. And then these next items are hilarious. You always gotta like dig through Dollar Tree because you never know when you're gonna find little things like this. But they're keychains with bells on them, which is so unique. Okay, and these were the four that I found. But the messages are hilarious. That's what really got me. So this one says, ring for wine. If, there we go. Okay, and then this one says, ring for luck. Which I like that it's green. Good job there. And then this one says, ring for a kiss. Super cute. And then this one says ring for ladies night. I didn't realize my hair was falling out of the, the bun I have in the back. Not that you can really kind of see it. Cute, never seen those before. Here's another ribbon. Um, what is the name of this ribbon? Like I know. It's not Harley Quinn, but like I think Harley Quinn when I see this, but isn't there a very specific name for this? Comment it down below. I know y'all are going to know it. Um, so I got that. And then I picked up this bag. They're actually rings. They're like little plastic rings. I'm going to open this so that we can kind of look at some of them because I definitely think we can craft with these instead of using them as rings because the one that was my favorite it's the little bat. What? How cute is that? And then we we get a little skull. I think that's all you get. I don't think there's any other options in here, which is fine because honestly, I got this for the bats themselves. And then they also have these right here. So let me put you on these. These are also rings. They look a little bit nicer. You get the little jewels as part of like the spider's body, purple and orange. I looked through the other colors, I couldn't find any. It would be nice to have a set with just like a black jewel and a green jewel. If that's out there, comment down below and let us know, but this is what I found at my store. But you can definitely also use these for crafting as well. You don't have to actually use them as rings, it's plastic, so it'll be really easy to like clip the ring frame off of the body of the spider and I definitely think I'll be using these in a tear tray. I think that's where I want to put these guys. So super pretty. Love those. And then kind of random, let's get off of Halloween for a quick sec, but I found some more children's pop-up books. I love looking for these. Dollar Tree turns these around quite often and I mean like they're always putting out new stuff 
and I found this set right here. I found the full collection because it will tell you in the back, you know, what to find. And I'm so excited. So we get Aladdin. And this is really special because you rarely see Aladdin. As a matter of fact, this may be the first time I've ever seen any reference to Aladdin. I might have seen like Jasmine kind of, but like Aladdin, this I think could be the first. And then we have the Princess and the Frog, which is so cute. And then we have the Little Mermaid. And then the last one is Snow White. How this works. But yeah, it's a little pop up. My niece loves these books. I, I literally don't buy books from anywhere else for her. I just grab them from Dollar Tree and she loves them. She makes me read them to her over and over and over again. But the Aladdin one, I was the most excited about this one. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Oh, so cute. So that's Snow White. I might as well just show you guys all the other ones. Here's a princess and the frog. There's that. I mean, these little pop-ups are just so impressive. There's not very many pages to the story. But listen, with my niece, her attention span at three. Like, the four pages is enough. And I also embellish. I also make up my own story. And she kind of looks at me like I'm crazy, but it works out. She likes it. And the very last things are we're back to Halloween. I was actually really impressed with these. They're just like this Halloween decor. It has like the creepy cloth, has the pumpkin head, the arms, which as you can just see, I just stretched it out. So it's got that flexibility for you to do what you want. But this is just super great quality. If you're actually gonna use this as outside decor, I would pin these to a tree, like to the, to the trunk of the tree. That would look really cute. You could also hang them obviously from branches. So that would be really pretty. I mean, look at the quality of this. Like, like what? Like how, how's that possible? Like this is so amazing, but I will tell you guys that I actually did not get these for outside decor. I actually got these because I liked the pumpkin itself. And I might just be plucking the pumpkin off of the frame of this and using it for, um, for decorations around the house. All right. So that's it. I think that's the haul for today. Now we're gonna roll the tape finally on this candy corn DIY. It took me forever to get this thing dried, but here it is for you guys. And I will link other DIYs that I've done as well, as well as my Halloween playlist, in case you just need to see more Halloween in your life. But that's it. I'll see you guys back tomorrow for another video. Bye. All right, so I've been having like this candy corn craze this year and I knew that I wanted to try my hand at doing some candy corn decor using Dollar Tree products. So the moment that I found these like triangle decor pieces, I forgot to show you guys the actual front of them. They kind of like gold, white, and black decor. Had, no had nothing to do with Halloween whatsoever. I just knew that I wanted to use the shape of them to, you know, emulate the, the candy corn concept. So I'm just just taping it off and because I know that I'm gonna work on the yellow and the white that just made it a lot easier for me so that I could do two colors at once and then save one color for last now I will say that I use the back side which is the best side in my opinion to use um, sorry that was my phone but uh, I will say that I wish that I would have peeled off the sticker now most of the time whenever I do DIYs from Dollar Tree using the back there's always the sticker there and it's never really posed a problem but with this specific diy and using the paint strictly from dollar tree i would try to peel the stickers the problem is they're incredibly hard to peel off they leave a sticky residue because i did attempt it with one of them yeah it's just it's really hard so i would either advise that you first paint the entire thing white because i noticed white held up really well in this you would think that like yellow and orange would really block the sticker, but I think white did a better job of this. Or try to remove the sticker if you can. 
um, yeah, and, and go that route because in the end you can kind of see like the outline of the sticker a little bit. And let me tell you, I put in a lot of coats on this. Yellow was actually the trickiest, um, but all of these products are from Dollar Tree, like the decor itself, the paint, even the brushes. So, and then as you can see, I'm tackling orange last. I didn't want to re-tape with painter's tape because I was afraid it would pick up the paint from the white and the yellow. But this is the end result. It still turned out super cute. I hope that you guys love the idea. There's more DIYs to come, so stick around. Thank you as always for supporting me and my channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.